everybody, we're here at Walmart in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Today, I'm gonna go pick up some packs of cards because I ended up being one box short for tomorrow's 2019 Topps Gallery break. So this is actually the third Walmart that I've been to. They had nothing in Mount Pleasant, Connellsville. So we're gonna go into Uniontown, hopefully find a gallery box. And I have $50 of, on my budget that I want to spend for packs of cards for today's video and hopefully I'll get fifty dollars worth of cards if not more so let's head in and see what we can find all right so our first Walmart doing a voiceover because there's a worker standing next to me it was a little awkward I'm gonna pick up this box of 2019 top series 2 there's some decent rookies in there for 10 bucks 10.98 and if you look at the rest of the selection, not a whole lot to choose from. I'm not going to go for that Gems of the Game for 20 bucks. That's not a very good value. But looks like this particular Walmart is rather picked over. So we're going to hit the road and move on. To our next Walmart. This is actually the fourth Walmart I stopped at, but only the second one I'm videoing. Uh, so far, I spent $10.48 looking for some more packs for my $50 budget. All right, so the first thing I'm thinking when I walk in here is nobody in Brownsville, Pennsylvania collects baseball cards because this is well-stocked. There's a lot of every release, including ones that came back way in, like, February and March. We've got a bunch of 2019 Top Series 2 blasters and fat packs. We've got Optic. We've got Bowman Platinum. We've got all this other uh, sports cards that I don't collect, uh, basketball and football. There's all the Gypsy Queen and Allen and Ginter all hanging out down there. And now, if we continue to move to the right, this is where it gets a little bit exciting. Yes! Yes, another one. Oh yeah, two 2018 Tops updates. And another one, three of them. So that was pretty exciting. I have to throw them back in there so I can get a better picture of them all together. Maybe use that for a thumbnail. 2018 Tops update is a really in-demand product just because of the quality of rookies in there. So I'm definitely grabbing those. Um, I'm going to check out the rest of the stuff there. I'm probably going to end up blowing my whole budget here. Also, there's Topps Heritage High Number, which has a lot of decent rookies. I'm going to grab one of those packs. I think those are like $5.98 or $5.48. They got everything here. USA Baseball. Um, they've got the Archives packs. We'll grab one of those. That's probably going to be about 5 bucks. Hopefully, they're all wrinkled up. So we'll put this in the stack. And now back to the clearance section. They have these 2017 Top Series 1 fat packs. We're going to pick these up as well because there's some decent rookies in there that are mega stars. We'll talk about them when we open those up. Bill Vernon, Pennsylvania right now. How about that for a big find at the last one? Three packs of 2018 Tops Update for $3.98 a piece. I've got about $7 left in my budget, so hopefully we can find a couple more of those in here. All right, so I'm looking to spend about 7 bucks. So I was figuring maybe two jumbo packs. How about Tops Holiday being reduced already? It's only been out two weeks, and they have it on rollback down to $19.99, which is probably where it should have been all along. Uh, when it came out, it was twenty-two forty-eight. Down here, we've got another fat pack of 2017 Top Series 1. And looking through the rest of these, uh, did not find any 2018 Tops update, but definitely had to look. A bunch of those sticker packs and a bunch of other stuff that I wasn't really interested in. So I've got about two bucks left or so. Had to find a small pack, just a regular little retail pack. So I was able to find one of these retail packs of... 2019 top series two and after i buy both of those it came to seven dollars all right everybody i'm back from those walmart runs and this is everything that i picked up for fifty dollars it was actually like fifty one dollars because of tax but fifty bucks was my budget and i feel like i did a pretty good job sticking to it we're gonna open all these packs up now and hopefully we get our money back we're gonna start with um i guess we'll start off with 
Series 2. This pack was, I think this was like, maybe like $2.99. I bought this pack and another one for $7.25, the last stop. So let's see what we can pull out of Series 2. We'll also do that hanger box right after this. Hopefully we'll find ourselves a Pete Alonso rookie card or maybe a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie would also be nice. Alo Jimenez or maybe even the Vladimir Guerrero short print. It's been a little while since I've opened up Series 2 cards. I think the last time I opened a bunch of Series 2 was back in June. There's an insert card, Historic Through Lines. Roger Clemens and Cy Young, that's a pretty cool card. I don't think I've seen that card before. That might be a retail-only insert. Miles Straw, Speedster 1984 design. Then we have Get Up with Yachty and Marcel Ozuna, who is a free agent. Andrew McCutcheon, Jose Perasa, Brandon Workman. Dylan Batances, Stephen Wright. So no good rookies in that pack. That pack kind of stunk. So we still have our other big hanger pack here. Now these this was ten forty eight, which is a little bit more than um, you can get it for at Walgreens. I believe at Walgreens they're nine ninety nine. So if you're really a stickler for you know the fifty cents, head out to Walgreens and pick up one of theirs and save yourself a little bit of money. Always make sure, by the way, when you're picking these out, that they're not pressed down on the sides like that because I've seen that before. People looking in and trying to get a cross section and see if there's a nice thick relic card in the middle of the pack. Well, I probably should have opened this from the bottom, but it doesn't really matter. So we have our 67 card pack there. And Honestly, hanger packs are probably the best deal for the money. I think, I forget what it comes out to, like 14.9 cents a card or something like that. There's a nice thick stack. A lot better deal than buying a blaster box. I mean, do the math. You get, what, 99 cards for 20 bucks in a blaster box or 67 cards for 10 bucks in a hanger pack. It's not that hard to figure out. You're paying a lot extra for that manufactured relic. So I... Um, I pretty much avoid the blaster boxes nowadays. So we got Clint Frazier, future star card there. That's pretty cool. Hopefully he gets a shot at some point next year to be a breakout player. Um, all right, so Pablo Reyes, rookie card, big deal. Looking forward, there's a nice Dustin Pedroia. Maybe we'll find a short print or something after the middle of the pack, usually. There's some inserts in the middle, and if there's a short print, it'll be right after those. We've got a gold card there of Jacoby Ellsbury. His career really has just kind of gone off the rails the past few years. If you look at his wins above replacement, he hasn't been good since, oh, I don't know, 2014 or 13. There's a nice Nolan Ryan franchise feats card. First time I've seen that one. Must be a retail-only release. I only opened Hobby and Jumbo packs. Franchise feats, George Brett. And Mookie Betts. Now, on the front of the box, I noticed it did say Mookie Betts commemorative cards in there. So, that's kind of cool. Carl Yastrzemski, Shohei Otani. Still no big rookie cards in this pack, unfortunately. But maybe we're saving all of our big rookies for the... 2018 tops update which i was super excited to find those that was that made the whole trip worth it finding a couple of those i wish there would have been a whole box filled with them but there wasn't but i'll take three we'll be opening those up soon and this hanger box also was very disappointing so no good rookies from top series to whatsoever we're gonna do some archives it's been a while since i've opened archives i like the design in here if i'm not mistaken it was what the 1959 design 1993 and 1975 or 72 one of those it's been a while this came out in about mid-august now i'm gonna take a close look here and hopefully these cards aren't banged up because they were just kind of laying on there it looks like the corners are pretty well preserved we've got a mike trout which is nice jackie robinson roger maris mariana rivera francis garcia tuki toussaint rookie card so we're getting some rookies another mike trout so two trouts in the same pack george springer tops magazine and then we got the 1993 design with Anderson Chapman, Carlos Martinez, Lorde Scoriel Jr., Jake Lamb, and Monty Irvin, and a security sensor, which likely didn't go off today in any of the Walmarts where I purchased stuff at. Didn't have any 
Um, buzzer's going off and people looking at me funny, which is nice. I'm going to save these fat packs for last because those have the best rookies in them. We're going to do this one next. Um, Heritage High number from 2019. 1970 design. Has decent rookies in it. I did notice a bunch of Heritage in the um, clearance section from the Low Series, which came out in February. The the box has Mike Trout on it. That series is pretty crappy, in my opinion. But we got Marlon Gonzalez on the front with a little ding on the card, which is never good. Bryce Harper. We got a first decent rookie, Aloy Jimenez rookie card, which is a nice one. That's one of the ones you're looking for if you're picking up. A oh, we got a cloth card here of Christian Yelich. Very nice. Was not really expecting that. I don't recall pulling too many of these during our break. Christian Yelich cloth card. DJ LeMayhew, Amir Garrett, Buxton Barnes, Real Muto, and Brantley rounds out that pack. So we're down to six packs left. We've got three 2017 Series 1, and also we've got these bad boys, which I'm most excited about. But don't overlook Series 1 from 2017. That's actually a pretty decent set for rookies. Andrew Benatendi rookie card could be in these packs. Um, Alex Bregman rookie card and Aaron Judge. Those are the big three we're looking for. There's also some other nice ones in there like Tyler Glass. Now he's got a rookie in there. Uh, Yuli Goriel, David Dahl. So let's open them up and see if we can find any of those guys. I hope that we can. By the way, if you're ever wondering if something's on clearance at Walmart, usually they have a big old yellow sticker on it. But every now and then they don't. And if you look at the back, if you see this, you can tell there's a sticker barcode put over the original barcode. If you see one of those, it means it's been discounted. So always look for that um, if you're not sure. For some reason, I don't know why none of the Walmarts have yet to discount 2018 Series 1. I see those everywhere. That might, might be the worst selling uh, release of all time, at least in recent memory. That just Nobody's buying them. They just are hanging on the shelves Still not discounted. But anyway, let's see if we can find our Aaron Judge rookie or Alex Bregman or Andrew Benatendi, 2017. All right, so we got a King Felix who just recently pitched his last game. There's Jose Barrios, Anthony Rizzo, another Mike Trouts. We're getting some Trouts today. Victoria Justice. I don't know if that's any relation to David Justice, but I remember back then they used to do... Um, first pitch cards in 2017, and most of the people I've never heard of, including Victoria Justice. We've got Cindergard, 1987 design, which is a pretty cool one. David Ortiz. There's Yuli Gurriel. That's probably one of the, I don't know, maybe like fifth or sixth best rookie in the set. Yuli Gurriel, very nice. So that's a good one. Put that in the good pile. And now we've got a bunch of landscape cards. Freddie Freeman, Jared Weaver. Carlos Correa, not the infielder we want. We're looking for um, Bregman. Uh, no Bregman. Pedro Alvarez is the last one. But we still have two packs left. These were, I think, $3.48, which is a pretty darn good deal. And these are, I think, they were three ninety eight for the Topps Update 2018. Next pack. I'm not expecting to find an autograph for Relic. That would be... You know, way too hopeful. I'm just trying to find some rookie cards. Jeff Hoffman, rookie. Chris Davis. Reynaldo Lopez, rookie card. John Carlos Stanton, Lance McCullers, John Gomes, Arnauto. There's, speaking of Nolan, there's another one. Then we have a then and now Albert Pujols. Nomar Mazzara, Future Star 87 design. And that's the same David Ortiz again. Tyler Naquin. David Wright. Come on, Aaron Judge. Where are you? Aaron Judge, Alex Bregman. Got to find at least one of you guys. Ben Attendee, I know you're hiding in here somewhere, hopefully. Got a rookie card. There's one of them. Andrew Ben Attendee, very last card of... The pack, I would probably consider this the third best rookie in the set behind Judge and Bregman, or you might consider Bregman to be better. Bregman, Judge. Bregman definitely had a better year last year. Very nice. Andrew Benatendi rookie card. So we got one more pack of 2017 Series 1. If you're ever out at a store and, you know, you have to 
make a decision quickly. Like I had to make a decision between series one and series two because they had they had both of them in the clearance section. So what I did just to see which was more desirable, besides sitting there and being on my phone for a long time and looking up the checklist, I just went to eBay and I looked up which um, jumbo box sells for more. And the 2017 Series 1 jumbo box was selling for almost double what Series 2 was going for. So that pretty much tells you all you need to know. There's Carlos Beltran, who's admired in the middle of that Houston Astros scandal. Robert Gesellman Gold, Chris Lane, never heard of this guy, another first pitch card. Will Myers, Michael Fulmer. All right, so is Aaron Judge going to show up? Getting down to about 10 cards left. Ryan Healy, rookie card. Henry Owens, Mitch Moreland, Zimmerman, and we didn't get him. So we got the Benatendi rookie card, which is nice. We've got these three, though, left to go, which could save the entire video. Uh, right now, we don't obviously have $50 worth of value here. Um, I'm hoping that this puts us over that. We're going to start off with the left pack here and... Every pack obviously has 36 cards, as you can see, and there's one Hall of Famer highlights and one Legends in the Making insert card, but honestly, I don't care about those. Those literally mean nothing to me. I'm looking for the good rookies in here. You all know who we're after. Juan Soto and Ronald Acuna Jr. are the main ones. Also hoping to find Glaber Torres. Shohei Otani, we'll take him if we can find him. All right, so here we go. It's been a little while since I've opened some 2018 tops update so we've got austin meadows very nice austin meadows rookie debut rookie card that's a good one austin meadows of course is an all-star and probably will be many more times in his career it looks like he's got a very bright future and uh, terrible awful trade by the pirates former former general manager giving him up along with tyler glass now and shane baz our number one overall pick for Chris Archer. Here's the middle of the pack. We got Vladdy Guerrero, Kevin Kiermeyer, Chris Davis, Ron Acuna Jr. Very, very nice. Ronald Acuna Jr. And I believe this is a short print. Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's check it out. Now you can always tell on the back. Let's do a little bit of research there. It ends in 30. So Let's carefully put this one down and do a little research. Let's check out this Lomo. It does not end in 30. It ends in 90. Aaron Nola ends in 90. All the other cards, all the regular cards end in 90. So we've got a Ronald Acuna Jr. short print card. That makes it worth the $50 by far. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that goes for. I'm, and Glaber Torres is in the same pack. What a pack. Austin Meadows. Ron Acuna Jr. Rookie Card Short Print. Um, I'm going to do a little research, see if it's a super short print, photo variation, or what. But there's a Glaber Torres Rookie Debut Card and Nick Kingham. So how about that? Um, I almost feel like breaking out a one-touch for it. I mean, why not? Ron Acuna Jr. Very, very nice. So sometimes you get lucky when you go into Walmart. They usually update their selection once a week it's different depending on which walmart you go to sometimes it's wednesdays sometimes it's friday sometimes it's mondays um you got to get to know the person's route and when they restock but every now and then i've been seeing people pick up these 2018 packs on clearance and how about that i don't remember ever pulling this card in any of my case breaks of 2018 so pretty stoked about that one have to take a second look that one up in a minute or two. Now we got two more packs, so maybe we'll find the regular Acuna Jr. rookie. That would be pretty awesome. That's the one where he's swinging the bat with the bat up, not the bat down version. The bat down version that most of you are familiar with is in Top Series 2. It's a short print. A hey, Juan Soto rookie card. Very nice. This is turning into uh, the first half of this pack opening was pretty crappy to tell you the truth i um, not real happy with um the lack of rookies and big hits but now we've got a, acuna jr and juan soto from the same um, not the same but same release at least so very very nice 
Juan Soto, that card is skyrocketing, and I've got to get the cards a little bit centered. Kind of, of another Juan Soto. Juan Soto Legends in the Making rookie card. We'll put that one on there as well. Very nice. So two Juan Sotos. Let's see what else we can find. There's Shoei Otani and Ichiro messing around there in the outfield. That's kind of a cool card. Austin Meadows rookie card. So we got both Meadows. We got the rookie debut when he debuted with the Pirates and also his regular Tops Update rookie, Will Adames. All right, so we got one pack left. I don't know if it's going to get any better than that short print, but still be fun to look. Um, we have tons of Walmarts around the area. It took me three hours to go around to those five Walmarts. It was kind of a loop. Started out in Mount Pleasant, down to Connellsville, down to Uniontown, back up to Brownsville, and up to Bell Vernon. That's just a small little loop. There's probably, I don't know, maybe like 30 Walmarts that I could have gone to um, if I wanted to drive a whole bunch. But that's a lot of gas money just to go looking for this release. But I would suggest whenever you're at Walmart, always check the clearance section. Ozzy Albee's rookie card, that's a decent one. And Shane Bieber, rookie card, your MVP of the All-Star Game this past year. Let's see what else we can find. We've got an Aaron Judge, and we have a Rainbow, another Vladdy. Got a rookie card coming up of Ronald Acuna Jr., Legends in the Making. Not nearly as valuable as his regular rookie card, but still pretty sweet. Lomo again. And we will finish off this pack opening with Michael Soroka, decent rookie card, and Sean Doolittle. So very, very nice um, overall break there. The Topps update from 2018 saved it. Let me take a minute and look this card up. I am very happy that I put this in a one touch right away because this card, not a whole lot of them on there because it's pretty rare, but it's called the Red Blue Variation Short Print, and it's like a $200 card. So definitely paid for all the cards and all the gas and all the time. Ronald Acuna Jr., um, PSA 10s of this card are like 400 bucks. So awesome. Um, I think I'm going to take all these cards and put them up for sale right now in the description. Um, try to just go by um, what I think they're all worth, and I'll make that the buy it now price if you'd like to buy them all including the soto the two sotos actually and the two acunas including that short print um sometimes you win sometimes you lose i was expecting maybe to get maybe 30 dollars on or 30 bucks out of the 50 that i spent i i was hoping to get my money back but i wasn't completely positive and it worked out today so Today's been a good day. I hope you guys had a great day today. Tomorrow we have a 2019 Topps Gallery break. We'll do that around 8.45 p.m. or so. Uh, it's only three rounds, rounds A, B, and C, seven boxes per round. So hopefully you can tune in for that. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all tomorrow.